Before we start, we'll go ahead and uh, disconnect the spark plug. Don't pull it by the wire, just uh, by this uh, elbow connector here. What we have here today is a uh, power mower, lawn mower. It's a uh, engine. It is a Chinese-made engine, and the uh, pull cord is uh, broke off. So we're going to replace that today. What we'll do is we'll take these uh, four screws off and then uh, I already had done that. And then this top cover will come off. And then there are three 10 millimeter nuts and we'll take the recoil off. Next what I'll do is uh, Take this completely out, uh, pull the cord completely out, and uh, what I'll do is uh, take a pliers here and then pull this all the way through. Okay, now that our uh, cord is out of there, what we'll do is uh, take and uh, spray some lubricant down in here. Um, go ahead and uh, get that spring lubed up. Then we're going to take and wind the spring counterclockwise uh, seven times. We'll uh, use that little label there as a, as a counter. Um, or until the spring is tight and then back it off a half a turn. Now we'll take a screwdriver and then uh, jam it in here to uh, hold it in place. Then we'll thread our new rope it through here and then tie a knot in it and uh, we're ready to reinstall it. On occasion it's hard to uh, get that uh, rope in there so I'm just going to uh, feed a small thin wire here through the uh, through the holes and poke it right through end of the rope, twist it back on itself a little bit, and that'll pull it right on through. So now that we have it through here, make sure your screwdriver is back in there. We'll go ahead, tie this in a knot, and uh, since I pulled on it with a little pliers here, frayed a little bit, we'll go ahead and uh, put some heat to that and then uh, shrink that back down on there. I'll heat that end. Now on this end where the handle is, we'll go ahead and uh, feed the rope through that. Put 
put a knot in there as well. And we're ready to uh, take our screwdriver out of here and let it wind back up. And if you have a lot of uh, extra slack on there, what you can do is uh, redo it and put an extra turn on there counterclockwise to make the spring tension a little more. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, install this here. And then put our four nuts on, or three nuts on there. We'll go ahead and uh, place it in the holder there. Then we'll go ahead and put the top cover on and uh, we're all done. Before I place this cover on here, uh, there is an occasion where when you uh, take these nuts off that the um, it doesn't come off, the entire stud comes out of the uh, engine block there. And if that happens, you'll just take and uh, remove this entire uh, plastic cover and then just grab it with a vice grips and uh, take that off so you can get the recoil off of there. We'll go ahead and attach our spark plug so it snaps on.